welcome to my channel so today we'll be exploring a little data set i got from Kazo, and there's a youtube data set contains things like subscribers views uploads countries where the channel types are from among others so we're using orange to do the data pre-processing and cleaning and then transforming the data to suit what we want we we'll also use some machine learning tools in Orange to do some data testing and prediction. We we'll also use Tableau to visualize the transformed and claimed data. So the first thing we'll do is to access the data. So first we drag the file widget into the workstation. And then as you can see, I already preloaded the data. So first off, we can see rank, subscribers, video views, category, uploads, and then the type is we have um, numeric, categorical, role, we have feature, and then target. But then for my exploration, I would like to make my target channel type. And then make the subscribers the feature. So I'm using this target for my predictions later on in the video which i'll explain so now let's go into the next step so now that i've loaded the data we can view this data in the data table so this table shows all instances so i have 995 instances 25 features and i have 6.4 percent of missing data so with the missing data you can see down here there's some question marks in my data set. So what I can do now is I can also view a summary of my whole data using the feature statistics. So this gives the mean, mode, median, dispersion, minimum values, and then maximum. So for example, with the video, it gives you the mean, median, dispersion, maximum values and then the amount of missing data so the process i would use to remove the missing data is the impute widget so with the impute widget it gives you things like don't impute average most frequent but then what i would like to use is remove instances with unknown values so once i select everything i select move instances with unknown values now when i view this in the table you can see that the instances are reduced to 500 i have 25 features and i have no missing data it means everything is intact so with the data i have you can see that i still have 25 features but then there are too many for me. I would like to reduce the number of features I have. I don't use all of them for my analysis. So what we can do is use the column widget. So this column widget lets all the features I have. So on the left side, you can place the features you don't want there. It says ignored. So what I'll do is I'll put all my features here and then drag the ones I want here. So we can just do them just like this. Another thing we can do is in the beginning of the video, I showed that my target was a channel type. So we have an option to put the channel type here as a target again. So I'll just drag it here and then keep it here. So it's my target the next thing i'll do is to use the edits domain widget so with the edits domain i have the features here i can decide to change the title of each feature i can change subscribers to let's say viewers and then it changes right here but then I don't need to change it. So I'll undo and then leave it as that. So the next thing 
I would want to do is my tunnel type is set as my target. But with my target, it means I would have to predict animals, auto, comedy, education, entertainment. But I would want to limit my prediction to just three types. So we'll do education, games, and then music. So what we'll do is we remove all these items. And then leave music, games, and education. Another thing I'll do is I would like to duplicate this domain here. And I'll explain why. So I mentioned earlier that we'll be doing some visualizations in Tableau. So with Tableau, I wouldn't want anything to be missing from my feature list. So as we can see here, if we look at the table, I still have music and everything here. But then once I come here, I only see music, education, and then games. So now I can go ahead and save this using the save widget. Then I make sure I save as a tab separated value. So now we have two different tables and then we've saved one that we use for Tableau and then we'll continue with our exploration here. So now we've been able to clean the data and then minimize the data to suit what I want. So what we'll do next is the data prediction using machine learning in orange. So in orange, when you want to do data prediction, we'll need to split whatever data we have. We'll use part of it to train the data and then we'll use part of the data for testing. So what we'll do is we use the data sampler. So this sampler allows you to split the whole data. So in this case, I would like to split it 70-30. So 70% will be used to train the data using models in orange. And then 30% will be used to test whatever we've trained. So as we can see, it's on 70% fixed proportion of data. Once I click sample, when you look down here, 388 makes up 70% and then 100 makes up the 30%. So what we are going to do next is we are going to train the data to help us with the predictions. So we're training the data. We have various modules we can use to train the data. In training the data, I'd like to use first off the naive bias. And whenever you select whatever you're using to train, make sure you select data sample. That's 70% of the data for the training. Another widget I'll use for training is random forest. The other one I'll use is the neural network. And then finally, I'll use logistic regression. And as you can see, everything is on data sample, data sample, data sample, data sample. One thing I would like you to note is that my target was a categorical target. So everything here works for the categorical target. But once I try and then use another widget, like the linear regression, it says error. This is because the linear regression expects numeric target variables. So depending on 
what your target is, check whether it's categorical or numeric to train your data. So I've now trained the data. The next thing I'll do is to test. So with testing, we need to make sure that I change this data sample because this represents 70%, which is already used for training. So I would need to change it to remaining data. This remaining data represents 30%. That's about 160. So that will be what we use for the testing. So it shows here running. And you can see that it took much quicker to run the test because it's much less than the 70%. So now we can view our tests. So here we can see neural network, random, naive, logistic. So clearly looking at this, we can see that the best result was between neural network and then random first. We can further check which one is the best option later. So now we can also view the predictions. Then this gives a table. So here we have the actual channel type. Then we have the prediction for neural, random forest, naive, and then logistic. So let's take, for example, um, 50 cent. The actual channel type is music. Neural network predicted music, random music, naive education, well, <laughs> and then logistic predicted music. So we can see that naive got it wrong and then all the ones got it correct. But then going through all this one by one can be hectic. So we can just view this with a confusion matrix. So with the confusion matrix, we clearly see that neural network did its job. Random also, naive also, yeah, but then logistic failed. So we can clearly see that between neural and random, random clearly gave better accuracy better figures so we'll go with random forest for training the module and then doing the prediction what we can do next is view the confusion matrix in a table so we select every data there so when we open the table we can clearly see we have 73 instances no missing data so that's for the testing so here we have the channel type and then we can see a used random forest because that was the best module for training the data. So the weekend music, random predicted music. And then here you can see that here music had the better figures. So this table simplifies everything and then shows you the actual data that was tested. The next thing we'll do is a bit of um, clustering. So with the clustering, we can use the k-means widget. So we can set the number of clusters we want or we can do it automatically. But then I'll go with three because I predicted three things. So now we can view the cluster in the scatter plot. And then here we can just click on find informative projections and then start. Then this can break everything down and then help you with your clustering. So as you can see, we have a lot of things that we can cluster. So with this, we've been able to 
pre-process the data, clean the data, save a separate file for Tableau, and then continue working on the data. We've done some predictions using machine learning in Orange. So now I'll quickly show you some visualizations I did in Tableau. So opening our saved data in Tableau gives us a list of the features we filtered out and then kept. So we have the subscribers, population, earnings, the YouTuber created year, among others. So the next thing I'll show you is the dashboards I created using the pre-processed and then clean data. So the first dashboard I created shows channel type and uploads. So with this, you can see that the channel type with the most uploads is a non-profit channels. I use the simple pie chart to represent this. And then we have channel with most views. So we can see here T-series, 228 billion views. This made it easier to represent because there are a lot of channels. So another visualization or dashboard I created was the channel type with most subscribers. Clearly entertainment with about 4 billion subscribers. And then um, the next dashboard is the video views and then the years they were created. So as you can see in 2006, every channel that was created there are generating much more views than any other year created. And then you can see that in 2014, the views have just been dropping till 2022. The next visualization is shows the country with the most subscribers. And as you can clearly see, it's the United States. Play. Then we have other. Australia has 32 million. Canada, 186 million. The next dashboard shows the country's population and the number of uploads they have. So, for example, Brazil have 77,000 uploads. US 911,000. The next one shows the country and their earnings from YouTube. So US came first with the highest yearly earning followed by India, then Brazil and the rest. So with this, I've been able to do some pre-processing and cleaning with Orange and then also use machine learning tools in Orange to do uh, tests and then predictions. And I've also visualized the pre-processed data which I cleaned into dashboards in Tableau. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching, kindly subscribe.